Hey Libra, welcome to your February reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always, along with information about what decks of cards I will be using in each video. Okay, so if you're new, welcome. And please remember to hit the notification bell so you get all the readings I post each month. Ooh, three of keys, Libra, the chess game here. Okay, so do you have a player amongst you, Libra? Is it you? I feel like um, the next move is yours, Libra, here. I don't know what just yet. We're going to look at more cards, but I feel like um, somebody's made their move and the next move is yours. Let me get more cards and see what's going on here. Ooh, the divine physician here. So that's the doctor there. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you. this is like a spiritual healing that you need. So this person has hurt you on a spiritual level. Um, it, it can be that, you know, they was a player and it did break your heart and maybe you feel like knocked down here and you need some help to get up so you need some divine healing here i do suggest meditating um and maybe going for non-traditional um medications and things just getting out in nature and deep breathing can do a lot i know if you've got something seriously wrong with you you should you know obviously go to a doctor here but i feel like this is speaking about you know your soul's being hurt it's like your soul's took a hit here from um <clears throat> you know whatever this move was So it's like you got some bad news that um, knocked you there. Um, could felt like your soul broke down all the way from this bad news. You really felt this deep within. So you do need that um, spiritual healing. You know, this spiritual awakening. It's tough. It's tough. So the King of Keys, we've had this a lot, but um, I mentioned in my other videos, this is somebody returning, right? Um, and we do see this is Keys as well, so it could be that somebody who made the move on you um, returning because the Queen of Keys is over here in the castle and it shows her waiting. Um, but this is somebody returning, so it could be this person who pulled this move on you here. Um what I will say is that you're advised here that you need healing first before getting back together with this person. And we do have a Mercury retrograde coming up, guys, in February. February 17th till March 10th, okay? During Pisces season. And for you, um, with your home planet Venus meeting up with Aries... Um, it can create like a mixed result sort of thing like you may be as we head into Pisces season when the retrograde happens here and this person returns you could be having confused emotions maybe you're hurt maybe you miss them and all this makes you think you know oh I love them and I think it's First, you should protect yourself, heal yourself before welcoming anybody back who hurt you because it's like you're going to have an option now. Will you accept them here? And I do always say somebody who comes back in a retrograde may just leave when the retrograde leaves, okay? When Mercury goes direct, this person could leave again. So do be careful and remember how much you was hurt here that you felt, you know, it actually broke down your soul, tore your soul out here, two worlds here, you know, um, I just feel like somebody saying, 
I'd rather live in his world than live without him in mine. Um, it's the midnight train to Georgia. Um, but, well, also I can hear he's leaving. So it, it might be that they come back and that they leave again. So do be careful of that because they can make you feel like down again, like hurt <clears throat> all over again. And that's why I warn about the retrogrades, um, taking people back during that time. If you can wait till after um, and maybe use this time to heal and really um, think what it is you want, not from a perspective of where you're hurt, where you feel played. You know, you could be feeling um of quite low self esteem <clears throat> so you might take them back for, only for them to leave again and then you feel hurt again it's like i feel like you're in a place where you're very vulnerable and can't trust people or you feel like you can't trust the outside world here one of forces this is the akashic field so this is about all around you there's this information um like your angels trying to give you signs um your gut trying to warn you about things um so it's like maybe you just knew that they was a player but you didn't have like physical evidence maybe and you maybe every time you say to them look i'm feeling like you're doing this you know they could be i don't know knocking you over or something here um, but your gut's telling you the truth here. Your gut is telling you the truth. So this is all, this is like the Ace of Swords. Um, very, I feel like it's a very brutal honesty that, um, you can't ignore because it's all around you. Um, I feel like you want to ignore it. And like I was saying, <clears throat> this could be the energy of um, Pisces season and the retrograde coming in like a storm for you and confusing you, making you feel like all loved up because of Venus, right? And Aries there. Um, I feel what happens is, you know, like Aries gets this real fiery start, but then can't follow it through. And this is what might happen. They may come in in this blaze of energy, like I love you and you feel, yeah, I'm feeling the love and you're confused by all this misty energy. And then they leave again because they can't keep up this game. So be careful about them coming back at this time. I know it's, yeah. The willow, um, I feel like this is like has deep roots already, this person who's um, coming towards you, okay? So this is like somebody you know, somebody from your past. Um, and again, with the twos here, it may be twos that you're seeing, like, you know, two twos, triple twos. And I just looked down at my calendar for some reason, and it's um, the second month, 2020. So I seen... Um, zero two two zero two zero so it might be something like that that you're seeing but the twos are about um, needing to love yourself nurture yourself maybe having parent sort of issues okay not getting the love you need from a parent so maybe you seek it outside in the world the willow tree as well is about family so you may be looking for this love outside of yourself and you need to give that love to yourself in order to heal yourself so we always say how would you mother yourself right how a mother would forgive the child and love the child unconditionally you should be doing this with yourself right so you should be um forgiving yourself for not trusting your instincts maybe for not knowing what to do maybe for anything forgive yourself and love yourself. You know, it's like a baby learning to walk. Are you going to get mad at them for falling over? No, you're going to say, that's fine. Get back up. And that's what I feel like you need. It's okay. And it's fine. Get back up. Okay, four of roses. 
<clears throat> so it's your ego that took a hit and I feel like, you know, maybe this is why you're holding on because um, the death of the ego, wow, that's painful. <laughs> like you think, well, everybody, nobody would have left me like this or whatever, you know, maybe it never happened to you before, um, this sort of way. And that's the death of the ego. Your ego won't let you let go because <clears throat> maybe you feel like... It's just, I don't want to upset anybody, but um, you should look into the death of the ego. Um, you could just be looking at things from an ego point of view. And I know a lot of people will say, no, it's the other person that's full of ego. But we need to have accountability, okay? If they did keep running this game on you, and going and coming back and your instincts and your signs, your guides was telling you and giving you signs, then we've got to be accountable that we keep accepting them back and keep letting them do whatever they do, right? So I feel like maybe um, this other person's ego, they sort of get their egos very strong in being able to reject you here with the four of roses. So when you try to put your ego down and go towards them, it's like they feed off it so they're ego driven then as well. Right? So they then get, you know, some sort of sense of, okay, I can accept your offer or reject your offer whenever I want and you just hear... You're just waiting here. And they get some sort of ego trip out of that as well. But for you, this will be a lesson of the death of the ego. Okay, and it spun around. The eight of keys. The master artisan. Okay, so it does seem like somebody feels like... You know, um, they've per perfected this sort of game, but it does seem like in some sort of lower energy here. Um, I feel like they will be more <clears throat> spontaneous than usual. So you're like not expecting them and then they show up again and you're like, what? I thought we'd finish this. I thought it was over forever this time. And it's like they've got one more trick up their sleeve or something here. Don't worry, it'll come to them as well. But I'm just warning against taking people back during the retrograde. You may want to, because this may not be all your story. Just take with you what resonates and leave what doesn't, right? So it could just be that somebody from your past is returning and that's the only message that was for you this time. Um, you know, maybe cross-watch your sign, your moon or your rising or your partner's sign even. Will, wisdom, and mind. It, I definitely feel like somebody's um, <clears throat> maybe quite controlling as well here. Um, but there's a very valuable lesson for you to learn here. If you feel like, I can't let go of this person. I'm attached. I can't stop thinking about them. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. You can free yourself. You can stand up from this and get stronger. So it's like <clears throat> you, you will learn a very valuable lesson and then you'll be able to put all these things together to be able to free yourself. And as I say that... What comes out is caught in the ruins. So it's like stuck in the aftermath of a relationship and this backwards and forwards and this game that they want to play and two egos battling each other. And it's like, do either, either of you really want this? Because, you know, you, you're not really stuck in these ruins here. You could probably push that gate and it'll open. Or you could help each other 
uh, let go of the egos and help each other over the wall there. There's no roof on this. I think, like, it's sort of a power-controlled relationship where both of you may be refusing to let go and that's why this person keeps coming back. But look where you're both keeping yourselves. Just a thought. Good luck, Libra.